Like a shepherd, he tends his flock. He gathers up his lambs under his arm. He carries them close to his heart. He leads the ewes along. The prophet Isaiah, chapter 40, verse 11. Our good shepherd has in his flock a variety of experiences. Some are strong in the Lord and others are weak in faith. But he is impartial in his care for all his sheep. And the weakest lamb is as precious to him as the most advanced of the flock. Lambs are wont to lag behind, prone to wander off on their own, and apt to grow weary. But from all the dangers of these infirmities, our shepherd protects us with his arm of power. He finds newborn souls, like young lambs, ready to perish, and nourishes them until they become vigorous with life. He finds the weak minds ready to faint and die. He consoles them and renews their strength. And the little ones he gathers to himself, for it is not the will of our Heavenly Father that one should perish. What a quick eye he must have to see them all. What a tender heart to care for them all. What a far-reaching and potent arm to gather them all. In his lifetime on earth, he was a great gatherer of the weaker. And now that he dwells in heaven, his loving heart yearns for the meek and the contrite, the timid and the feeble, the fearful and the fainting here below. How gently did he gather me to himself, to his truth, to his blood, to his love, and to his church. With what grace did he compel me to come to himself? Since my first conversion, how frequently he has restored me from my wanderings, and again folded me within the circle of his everlasting arm. But the best of all is that he does it all himself personally, not delegating the task of love, but condescending himself to rescue and preserve his most unworthy servant. How shall I love him enough or serve him worthily? I would rather make his name great unto the ends of the earth. But what can my feebleness do for him? Great Shepherd, add your mercies to one this one other, a heart to love you more truly as I ought. Amen.